This is In The Loop, I'm Christian Bryant. A tradition that used to only last one evening has turned into its own vacation. We're talking about bachelorette and bachelor parties, folks. Crowns and sashes are approved for this family-friendly episode where we look at what it costs to throw these parties and the impact they've had on local businesses. As social media has gained popularity, experts say these batch parties, as they are commonly known, may have become a bigger and bigger deal thanks to the growing need for everything to be Instagrammable. According to data from The Batch, popular app for bachelorette party planning, 42% of survey respondents plan to attend two or more bachelorette or bachelor parties in 2021. The average party spent $5,500 to $7,000 in total on their trip. 77% of people surveyed said they rented a home for their party. These are typically big groups of about 10 people and half of travelers said they planned on spending $250 or more on housing each. Then there's also all the other spending, from dining at local restaurants to shopping at local stores. These parties can be pricey. They can also include things like private chefs and transportainment, like party buses, pedal pubs, and booze cruises. We hit the streets of Nashville, Tennessee, the number one batch party destination, to speak with transportainment companies. They've experienced a lot of growth in recent years. Companies we spoke with said bachelor and bachelorette parties have been coming here for a while. But as Nashville has become a more popular batch party destination, these transportainment companies have really taken off. Honky Tonk Party Express was one of the first bus companies in Nashville, and they operate 38 buses. We do 1,800 bachelorette uh, individuals a weekend. Individuals. Individuals, that equates, any party comes between 12, 12 and a half is the, is the rough average per group. There are other party buses in other, in other cities, like your Miamis, your Austins, uh, but there's nothing that's quite where this open air experience is. And when our company started in 2016, there was nothing like that in the country. Now, since then, it's became so popular that other cities are emulating it. While many cities struggled with tourism throughout the pandemic, batch parties provided a boost to local economies. For instance, data from the batch shows that in 2021, 13,000 batch parties were hosted in Nashville, and this year, 30,000 are planned there. The more parties, the more people are spending money in these cities. Extreme Experience in Nashville actually launched during the pandemic. Extreme is designed to have your own club on the bus. So as you see, you have a lounge, you have your bar, and you have your dance floor. So I came up with that uh, concept is to, you know, you're more safer on here than you are out there. These types of activities got so popular, Nashville has worked on adding new regulations for these companies like applying for permits and allowing alcohol only on enclosed vehicles after complaints from local residents that some visitors were, let's say, getting out of hand. Scottsdale, Arizona is another popular destination to go to for these kinds of parties. It jumped from number five to number two on the Batch Travel Trends Report. Throughout the pandemic, you know, Arizona was one of those states and Scottsdale was one of those cities where there weren't a lot of restrictions when it came to nightlife, when it came to restaurants, uh, mask mandates, things like that. So a lot of people actually detoured their bachelorette parties from other cities like Vegas and Florida to, to Scottsdale. We spoke with bachelorette party planning companies that offer services like decorating rental properties with popular themes, creating itineraries and stocking the fridge. Scottsdale Bachelorette is one of them. Casey Homan started it in 2018 as a side hustle, but last year it became profitable enough to become his full-time gig. This year we already have over 750 parties booked um, for this year, and that's up from about 300 last year. So we're, we're thinking we're probably gonna end up tripling the business this year um, just in one year, which is pretty awesome. Most parties come Thursday through Sunday. Scottsdale Bachelorette sees about 20 to 30 a week with services that cost anywhere from $800 to $1,000. Girl About Town is another bachelorette party planning company in Scottsdale that sees about the same number of parties per week and with services that range from $175 to $2,000. 
Megan Alfonso, the founder of the company, says they too are benefiting from the increased popularity of batch parties in the city. We already hit our goal or our last year goal now. So we already have had 400 plus parties that have come through right now, which is July, you know, the end of July. And so it's just wild how fast um, the city has grown as well as how many people want to come here for their bachelorette. And so each year we're just anticipating almost double. Bachelor parties do come through some of these popular cities too, but experts say they don't tend to have all the decorations and services that the bachelorette parties have. I mean, they could, but some fellas are just too close-minded for all that, but I digress. A survey from savings.com found that bachelor party guests tend to spend more on activities like golf or sporting events. These groups also tend to go to faraway places, making their costs of airfare higher. I think just in general, the wedding industry has really grown from just the wedding to all these other things that happened before that, right? I think bridal showers have gotten bigger, engagement parties have gotten bigger. Even if you look at like gender reveal parties, that didn't exist before, you know, and now that's like a big party. So I think, you know, especially post pandemic and, you know, just thinking about what a special time this is, people are extending that party from just the wedding to, you know, all these other fun things that they can do leading up to it. We've seen how high the cost is for friends to attend bachelor and bachelorette parties. One survey found more than half of guests took on credit card debt to participate in bachelor or bachelorette parties. But what about the cost of attending weddings? The event that usually comes after all these parties. Because of inflation, being a wedding guest has become an even more expensive affair too. Newsy's Kat Sandoval tells us more about what people are doing to combat these costs. 2.5 million weddings are expected this year. And with rising costs, it can be expensive for brides and grooms and even wedding guests who may have to attend more than one wedding this year. Weddings are upon us. A record number of ceremonies are happening this year, thanks to the pandemic, which postponed a lot of celebrations until now. But for wedding guests, attending can carry a hefty price tag, especially with costs rising due to inflation. It's been pretty rough um, in terms of the finances of it. Cameron Robertson was invited to eight weddings this year, not just in various states, but various countries too, like Spain and Lebanon. She's gone to three weddings so far, but had to say no to two events. She's undecided on the other three. It has been a struggle financially, uh, but those that I've been able to attend have been wonderful. And obviously I've had to have those rough conversations. I'm not one to necessarily want to say no uh, to any wedding. They're so fun. The flights, hotels, gifts, cabs, food, it can all add up. Robertson says she spent about $1,000 on each wedding. That's around what Credit Karma says is the average for guests. But their survey also finds that 73% of guests say inflation is negatively affecting their ability to join celebrations. Polled guests say they are forced to take on debt, even miss events completely. It's a lot of a uh, financial burden for one person to take on, and um, you know I'll make up for it other ways. Get you a good registration gift. <laughs> to make it work, Robertson stayed at friends and family's homes, put some expenses on credit cards, and even got some financial help from her family. I'm not necessarily proud of saying that. Um, but I have had to receive some financial support and uh, to attend these weddings. Joseph Kramer was invited to four weddings and extended parties. I've kind of had to pick and choose with, you know, the extended wedding functions such as bachelor parties. He decided to forgo one bachelor party, resulting in one disappointed friend. But he thought of another option. I would love to, you know, celebrate you separately and, you know, maybe do something smaller, kind of closer to both of us. That way I can still be there and celebrate you, even though I'm not able to kind of join in the larger parties. If multiple wedding invites are in your future, financial planner Avshalom God says, don't let your heart overrule your head. You wanna make sure that whatever you spend is based on your budget. You're not overspending just because you really miss your friend and uh, you don't want to look bad and you have to go because everybody is going. 
He warns you don't want to spend all of your savings now, and not just so you can retire someday, but because there will be more weddings ahead. Some of your friends are going to get married twice and three times. What? You're not going to go? <laughs> You're going to go. So you better save money for that too.